Good morning guys, how's it going? Great to be back. Uh, yes, yeah, so today we've come out to the woodland again to do some more woodland photography and conditions are quite nice this morning actually, just a little bit of light mist, no wind, so yeah, ideal for woodland photography really. Not sure how long these atmospheric conditions are going to last, but um, yeah, I've got straight into it this morning. I actually came here to photograph a tree that um, I scouted about eight months ago, but when I came, I looked at the oak trees and the leaves, they were still very, very green actually, no, no yellow on them at all. So I decided to not take that shot and come and try and find something new. So a bit of a gamble because I, I knew I would have definitely been able to get a shot there, but <clears throat> excuse me, I've still got a bit of a, a bit of a cold. But um, yeah, so I decided to, you know, knock that one on the head and see if I could find something new. And fortunately I have actually, I found this very old uh, dying pine tree doesn't have any foliage surrounded by these other pine trees that that do have a little bit of foliage and yeah it's quite nice the misty conditions are helping it and because the light's so flat as well it's kind of really adding to the subtle tones of the tree as well so it's just kind of making that pop out from the trees from behind so yeah really nice um, I'll just talk you through how I've got everything set up on the tripod Obviously because it's autumn, I want to try and get some autumn colours in this shot. So what I've decided to do is to include some of the bracken in the foreground. Now the bracken's just changing colour, there's lots of different colours in there. There's greens, yellows and browns and I want to try and capture that in the foreground. And because I'm focusing on the tree at f5, everything in the background is just going to fall away and be slightly softer, which is nice. And the slight sort of atmospheric conditions as well is going to kind of help this old tree just to stand out from the background because it's, uh, yeah quite messy behind but all the tones and you know in the trees behind really add to the to the scene I feel so the branches from the left and right kind of go up into the top left and right hand corners of the frame I might crop this down to a 5 by 4 ratio um, because I don't really like this or 7 by 5 ratio for a portrait orientation so um, it's probably going to end up at a 5 by 4 but I'll sort that out a bit later in post-production. Yeah, I don't want to crop out too much of this foreground, but I'll, I do want to try and eliminate some of the sky out of the shot. So cropping down at five by four is really going to help that, I think. So yeah, what a beautiful morning. I'm really hoping to be able to uh, get this shot now and then hopefully maybe try and find another composition before the mist and the fog kind of, you know, rises and dissipates. But yeah, it's looking really nice right now. In terms of taking the shot, I'm just going to use a two second timer, mainly because the tripod's positioned down here on the dying leaves and foliage and it's quite spongy and I've also got the centre column raised up a little bit as well which is obviously just to add a little bit of wobble you know I just want to make sure that everything's nice and stable I'm not kind of moving the tripod too much so yeah two second timer right I'll pop this on the screen now guys and then we're going to see if we can find something else So guys, as you might be able to tell, <clears throat> the sun has come out now and it's super, super bright. It's kind of ruined any chances that I might have of being able to capture another woodland photograph today. But that being said, every cloud has a silver lining, doesn't it? So I thought I'd try a little bit something different, a bit more of an abstract shot. So I thought I'd try a bit of intentional camera movement and uh, I found a, a lovely little scene here that's got three pine trees and one larger pine tree to the left, which has got lots of branches coming off it. And then in the distance there, We've got some beautiful golden foliage that's just standing out in the landscape. It looks absolutely sublime, it really does. The sun's directly from the side and that's kind of giving us this 
beautiful shape to the trunks of the trees. And what I'm doing, I've got a variable ND filter on the front of my camera, which is stopping five stops of light entering the lens and the camera. So that's reducing our shutter speed. And at f14, I'm able to get a quarter of a second even in these bright, harsh conditions, which is great. And what I'm doing is a vertical sweeping motion. And that's smoothing out all of the colors and giving us a real abstract feel. Now I've done a few already. I'm gonna take a few more just to show you how I'm doing it. And it's uh, very, very simple really. It's just a case of getting your focus point and then just sweep through and you'll get this cool abstract shot. Now what I've decided to do as well is just to kind of make it even more abstract is to do a double exposure. Now these cameras have a double exposure feature built into them, which is pretty cool. So what I've decided to do is do a vertical shot and then I'm going to do a horizontal panning shot of the foliage down here with all these lovely colours and just see what that does. And that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a, a neat effect actually. It's kind of given us this crisscross pattern in the scene and it's uh, yeah, very abstract and very cool. What I'll do, I'll put these on the on the screen now for you guys to have a little look at. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in ICM, I'll probably like to do some more actually in the future. But uh, yeah, really enjoyable actually. And uh, yeah, it can create some really interesting effects. So after last week's vlog when I was out in the rain and I managed to catch her that really nice atmospheric shot of the silver birch tree, I had quite a few people mention like in the comments and also on Instagram that they struggle with woodland photography and uh, I think it's a common theme isn't it? I think we all probably share the same feelings but I think something to think about really is managing expectations. I think woodland photography is a completely different bag isn't it? It's not like going to the coast where if you go to the coast, more often than not, you're going to come away with a, a decent image, even if the, you know if it's overcast, you might go to a long exposure, or if you've got amazing sunset conditions, you might, you know, obviously you're going to be able to capture something really nice. I think the expectation level there, if you go to the coast, is like you, you're more than likely going to come away with an image. But for woodland photography, I don't think that's the case. I think it's, you know, many many outings you might go and not capture a single shot. You know, I've probably spent maybe this year 30 days in the woodlands and I've probably taken three or four photos probably um, because majority of the time when you're out and about it's a blue sky day like this and there's just nothing really to shoot so managing expectations I think is a key thing for woodland photography and just enjoying enjoying the environment and you know scouting trying to find locations that you can come back to and then when you get those really really good opportunities for weather then you know obviously try to make sure you've got the time available to go out and shoot so yeah it's a bit of a long game isn't it it takes a lot of time and patience so i just think it's a mindset really i think as opposed to you know struggling to find photographs in the woodland i'm not sure that's the case i think it maybe is just managing expectation levels because if we go out every single time to the woodland expecting to capture a shot i think we're just going to come away disappointed Whereas if we go to the woodland and, you know, think, right, okay, we're going, going to the woodland today to see if we can find something, you know, we're probably not going to find something. And if something turns up, then that's great. Um, that's a much better mindset for me personally. I find that, you know, I, I can cope with that a lot better. And when an image comes along, it's so much more rewarding because you've spent all that time and effort putting all that, you know, scouting and location finding and waiting for the right conditions, all of those things to come along to be able to capture an image. And when one does come along, it's so much more rewarding, which is what makes woodland photography so fantastic, it really does. Now, obviously, there's far greater people out there to give woodland photography tips than me. Um, but, you know, this is just something that's really, really helped me over the last year or two, just managing the expectation levels of woodland photography and just getting out and just really enjoying these beautiful, beautiful conditions and just the gorgeous countryside that we've got here in the UK and across the world. So I've set the camera up on the tripod here looking back across the valley and I've managed to find a pocket of shade with a lone tree that's completely died off and it's surrounded by, it looks like conifers in the background, 
Uh, it's quite difficult to see from here. I think they are conifers or maybe even redwood trees. It's difficult to see because um, they're in the shade, but they look beautiful. And this lone died off tree just stands there on its own, looking all sad and miserable. And uh, still quite majestic though. And it really pops out from the conifers. It, uh, and it's, I think what's pleasing as well, it's all in the shade. So it's this one quite bright trunk with its gnarly sort of upper branches reaching out to the sky, hoping to get some light. And obviously it's been suffocated by the trees that are behind it, the backdrop of this dark row of conifers. So yeah, quite, quite a nice, interesting shot, I think, to finish off the day. So yeah, simple on the camera, really simple. I've got the 5140 on, we're about 70 mil. We are, let me just grab the camera, guys. Yeah. So really simple on the camera, like I just mentioned. 70 mil, f5.6, 125th of a second. Lens hood's on because the sun is coming straight into the lens. And that's why the tree in the background there is in the shade. So, yeah, focus on the tree because that's the main subject. There's no need to focus stack. It's just a very simple composition, this one. But quite majestic and quite pleasing to the eye, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and capture this shot now, guys. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. I'll pop this image on the screen for you to take a look at. Thank you so much for coming along. I've really enjoyed today. It's been absolutely beautiful to get out in the woodland again. I can't wait for the next trip. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it if you think others might like it too. Subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time, guys. Laters.